Hello and welcome to BitBoy Crypto. I am your host, BitBoy. Welcome to the channel. We're so glad that you're here. Become a member of our community by clicking the subscribe button. So don't forget, we're also giving away $500 worth of Bitcoin. All you got to do to enter that contest is check the video description below, but you do have to be a subscriber. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button for us. Also, keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing I say on my videos is financial advice. So today we are starting another new series that I think will be pretty cool. I don't know how frequently we'll do this one. So we're going to be calling this series like this. Try that. So the whole purpose of this is going to be to show a coin or a token that we have talked about in the past or at least a popularly known coin and that it is in a specific area of cryptocurrency such as a platform or data storage. And we're going to take that coin and we're going to say, if you like that, then you might want to try this. And so the whole point of this series is going to be if you like that coin or token uh, and what they're doing, then you might want to try a different one that is doing something similar, but might be a hidden gem on coin market cap. So today we're going to be looking at storage, which is a cryptocurrency that we have looked at before. We've done a review on it. I'm going to give you a, basically a brief overview it, of it in the beginning. And then we're going to look at something else that is doing something similar that might possibly be a good value for you. So storage right now is actually ranked 130 on coinmarketcap.com, but it has definitely been in the top 100. It has fallen just a little bit. It for a long time was hovering right around the 100 um, coin marker. So storage is a data and file sharing platform. And basically how it works is the data is shared in shards, which means very small fractions of files. So no one node on the network, obviously decentralized, has all of the files together or all of the shards of the files together. But when a person needs to pull it back um, for use, the file that is that they're storing on the network, then all the shards from all the nodes send them back to the person so they pull up one complete file. Uh, the people or the relayers on their system that are using the platform that are actually doing this process are called share farmers. So it's very interesting. Uh, I think it is the, the future of uh, file storage. So basically what storage is trying to do is it's trying to take something like Dropbox that is a centralized company and decentralize it. And that is the basis for their project. So if you like storage or you like the idea of it or it's one you've invested in before, we'd like to give you a different cryptocurrency that might also be highly advantageous for you because it could be a hidden gem on CoinMarketCap. So the one we're going to be looking at today is called Internext. So basically what Internext is trying to do is very similar to what storage is trying to do. They're trying to disrupt the cloud storage system, whether it be Dropbox or Google Drive. The fact is those are privatized and also centralized companies. So Internext is trying to offer a solution that you'll be able to store your data with them, your files with them in a decentralized manner. So how do they do this? They do this with two different products. They have what is called Xcore and xCloud. So xCloud is basically their uh, file storage system. You can think of it almost like Dropbox. But however, of course, I mentioned it is private and it is secure. So xCore is basically the application or the platform in which you can actually take part in this decentralized storage, which would be kind of similar to what the farmers do uh, for storage. Okay, so the technology is great, but one of my favorite parts about this project is simply the supply. The supply of Internex tokens is only 629,000. And that's why the project is fairly new and relatively in a low place on CoinMarketCap.com coming in in the 500s. However, it's already worth $5 per token. And the reason is because of the super low supply. So if this project were to gain a lot of traction and maybe as we've seen storage kind of slip out of the top 100, there could be an opportunity for this project to move up. You could buy some of this right now and then down the road, it could be worth a ton more if it gets a lot of excitement. Because right now the market cap is only $2.7 million. So you've got a low supply and you also have a low market cap. There's a lot of opportunity in that for investment. Of course, always do your own research. Don't take anything I say on this video or any other video and invest. Take it, do more research, and then get to a place where you feel comfortable investing. But the numbers on this one 
do bode well for a good investment. So their first product, as I was referring to, which is xCloud, is actually going to be coming out in quarter three, or at least the beta version of it is going to. So it's pretty exciting to see the progress of this project, and they're actually getting close to having a working product, which is more than, of course, most cryptocurrencies can say. And when xCloud actually does come out, it's going to be very, very secure. It seems as if they've really thought this process through all the way. And so governments, hackers, no one is going to be able to access your data because of the infrastructure of the product. So while the beta is getting ready to get launched in quarter three, you can actually sign up on the website on the wait list so you can be one of the first people to actually try it out, which would be really cool. Of course, I was in the beta launch for um, ethos and the video did really well and it was really awesome it's really exciting to be on the cutting edge of a product so also every week they're giving away a hundred internet tokens to people that are on the wait list now they're doing it by raffle so just by signing up for the wait list you don't automatically get 50 tokens but right now that equates to about a hundred bucks so it might be something you want to check out you can do it on the website so one cool thing about this project are their partnerships they've got two really big partnerships or one that's really big and one that's an up-and-coming company that are very exciting. So the first one is actually BlackBerry. So they've actually been included in BlackBerry's enterprise partner program for solution providers. So it looks like BlackBerry is looking to Internext as someone that can help them with their data storage. And that is really exciting and a big partnership for this project. So another partnership they have is with Civic. Civic is a cryptocurrency. It specializes in the identity verification realm. You may remember them from a story at Consensus where they actually were selling alcohol uh, in a vending machine through identity, identity verification on the blockchain. So it was kind of a fun little news story. But what they're trying to work with um, Internext with is if someone were to put illegal content onto their platform, how would they be able to fix that problem? And so Civic and Internex are working together on that, which once again just shows the commitment that both of those uh, projects have towards doing things the right way and doing things on the up and up and making sure that these uh, products and these technologies are being used for good and not for illegal purposes. So overall, I was very pleased when I looked into this project. I think it is one that you, you always have to remember this. Of course, I say, not financial advice, do your own research. But at the same time, um, my personal opinion is that really, if you're going to want to get the really big gains down the road, you're going to have to find it with the low cap gems. Those are the ones that even in a even in a bear market can have a, a, a run because it doesn't take that much to get something from 275 million to four or five million. And then you could get a double up. So this is definitely one to keep your eye on. I believe their marketing seems to be on point. I've seen a lot of other videos. I've seen them in different places. And it's very encouraging to see one that's so small on CoinMarketCap right now that seems to have potential to grow over time. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series. I think maybe it's a cool concept where we're going to compare large cap and small cap coins that are in the similar space of cryptocurrency. Maybe we can find some good gems in this series. Maybe I can find some for me too. That would be great. But uh, don't forget, become a member of the Bit Squad. All you got to do is click the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. Until next time, BitBoy out.